Hello and welcome. Um, on this video, I'm going to be discussing using the pre prettier extension with VS Code in a global folder location. So, uh, my previous video, I made a video on how to set prettier up in a in a local folder, and I discussed the pros and cons and uh, what prettier is. But just a recap: so prettier is a uh, opinionated code formatter and what that means is when you save your code or save your file uh, prettier will it'll format your code so it looks the same as your other uh, other files and so you have that organized uh, organized files across your platform or in your folder and so in my in the previous video, I talked about uh, uh, local, the benefits of a, a local prettier file, and and those are having if you have different projects you're working on, if you have a different team, each team and project might have different settings, and you want to store those in your prettier file, in your config file, and but it's always good. It's a good idea to have a baseline uh, config file uh, globally, and when so if you don't have a, a local one, it'll fall back onto your global, basically, and and that I would say is the biggest pro of having a prettier config file globally, um, and if you're working uh, on your own, you're working by yourself. If you set one up globally on your computer, you don't have to set it up every time you make a new project. And if you're by yourself, you don't have to worry about it because you're just, you're just going to use the same settings each project, ideally. So, uh, yeah, that's just a quick recap. Um, uh, so I'm going to run through uh, my local file, my local a prettier file really quick really quickly um, so here is my local file and so when I have these have these settings here changes to 60 if I save it it's going to let's do six okay if I save it here and then I have the um, on format or format on save turned on and if you need a you want a refresher you can watch my previous video on how to do that uh, or I can just show you right now how about we do that so if you go up to settings preferences settings format on save right I have that turned on and but I also have a VS code settings dot JSON and in this case, this particular case, I have a .html file. So this, I have a dot, or this is the HTML um, file type, and I have the editor format on save set to true, and I also have the default set to true. So just in case this wasn't here, which I probably technically don't need, it still works. Save and format. But I, I just like having that, just so I know I can, I have the option to change that if I if I want to. Like for CSS, I have it to set to false because I minimize a lot of files, and I don't want it to change when I save it. So I have that set up. Um, but so this is my local. So I'm gonna bring up my folder. I'm gonna I'm gonna go um, all the way. Here it is. So this is this is my uh, prettier global file. So this is under um, uh, this is like before documents. This is whatever your computer's name is, right? And and as you can see, I also have um, different files set up. Uh, so by default, the prettier config file is hidden, and into unhide you do command shift period and it will hide and show those files 
and sorry. Um, okay, so here's a prettier file. So I have that, and so that is all the way up to to the computer user. Now, if I had a parent folder outside of this local folder, and there's no prettier file, it's going to look to the parent. It's going to keep going up until it it reaches um, the extension, basically, of the location in which I added it. Um, so I actually might be able to add this this file uh, deeper into the in my system where I add VS Code and I added the extension. It might have its own fo uh, folder, but I'm not going to go that deep uh, deep into the folder locations. But so this is where I hold my global prettier location or file location. Uh, so I'm going to bring this up. As you can see, there's a username and then my name um, for the location. So as you can see, these settings are different. My print width width is is the one I'm is what I want to show to make it to make it obvious that it's actually working versus the local. So right now it's at 60. So if I change it to 100, it's going to be let's remove that. It's going to be pretty wide. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty wide. Uh, so I'm going to delete this file, basically. Oops. Move to trash. Okay, so now it has no file to look for in this in this folder, and I don't have a prettier file anywhere else on my computer. So the next closest one is going to be this uh, file, which is. Yeah, it's all the way up to the home um, computer name for my Mac. So technically, if I were to save this, see it goes to 10. So it looked all the way up into the global variable. So if I change this back to 200, save, 200 wide, okay. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you set up a global variable, or sorry, a global prettier config file. And that, I, I would suggest doing that if you're going to use Prettier. Um, you can add it, uh, you, so what you do is you add it to, to your VS Code, you add it to your editor, or um, yeah, you do that, and then you set up a file individually, and you set one up for your folder, for your project, um, and then you also set one up at the global location. And so it's basically, it's like CSS in a way. It's like cascading. And so you want to set your basic, your baseline, and your global location. And if you want to make any changes per folder, you just change those settings in your folder. So if I'm going to bring one back. So I'm going to make the, so this is my global. Global is always going to be, let's say, 80. But for this case, because I have a lot of text, and you can see I have a lot of space on the right for this folder, or for this like particular file. So I want to change it to, say, 120. And now I can fit more within in the, the view the viewport. Um, and yeah, so that is that is the basics for setting up your global file uh, for prettier. Um, and sometimes it's hard to find. So I have as you can see I have all my hidden files on. So if you do like I said earlier command shift period on a Mac, it unhides them or hides them. 
And yeah, okay. So um, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm thinking about setting up another video discussing the prettier settings and what each one does. And I'm also thinking about adding in uh, ES Lint, which is another, uh, well, it's a linter for your code. And we're using that with the prettier extension and VS Code and the local versus the global. Yeah, so if, uh, if that sounds like a good idea, just um, let me know. Uh, you can tweet me um, or, or tweet at me, rather. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching. Until next time.